Xbox console streamers, you're gonna be happy. If you were around on Xbox as a console streamer when Mixer was around, you know it was really easy to go live from your console. They are bringing that back so that you can now have integrated Twitch live streams. You will need no apps. You can just go live very quickly from your console. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at how you would do that. You hit the guide button, go over to your capture and share tab. You're gonna go down to live streaming, set up a stream. So here on this screen, I can't show you everything because obviously uh, it would allow you to connect to my account, but uh, you have two options. One, you can scan a QR code or down at the bottom, you can say, go to settings and that will have you log in manually. Okay, I'm all signed in. I, I tried doing it two different ways. I tried doing it via the console and I tried using the QR code uh, on your mobile device. Definitely use the QR code if you have a phone, it's a lot faster. And if you're streaming, you should be using two-factor authentication with your Twitch and your Xbox accounts. So uh, definitely using the QR code is faster because the uh, two-factor authentic authentication, 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 uh, I couldn't, I could barely type it in fast enough and then it was, it wasn't working. So I'll have to send feedback on that. All right, let's check out our options. This is the first time I'm using this. Uh, go live now, okay. Uh, microphone, I don't have my headset plugged in. Uh, camera options, oh, we could plug in a webcam. Wait, let me go get a webcam, hold on. All right, I got a webcam, this is my trusty Logitech G C920. I have had, this was my first stream camera. I used this so many years uh, before, you know, my current uh, setup. So uh, I've got a camera, let's plug it in. I figured I should get it all set up. So I, I plugged in my webcam. I have my headset with my mic so that my stream would be able to hear me when I'm streaming from my Xbox. And there we go. So I already went in, I turned on my microphone, I went and chose where I want my camera to appear. You also get a little preview. Uh, so this is my webcam that you can see here, over there, <laughs> and or there, yeah, over there, over there. Uh, so we have that. Uh, you can move it around uh, anywhere you want. Uh, you have all these preset, obviously not the center, so we'll just put it here just opposite. And um, now you have audio options. Right now I just went ahead and put the game volume at like medium, put my mic a little louder. Um, on the resolution, um, you can do 720 at, at 3000. I personally stream at 720, 60 frames per second at like 45 to 4600. Uh, I don't usually do 1080p personally as an affiliate on Twitch, but uh, yeah, so all you have to do after you have everything set up is hit go live now. Uh, I could not find a way to change the title yet. Uh, you'll see here it's kind of grayed out. Uh, and I couldn't find a way to change my game. So I went ahead, signed in to Twitch, put on my uh, stream title and the game I'm streaming. So I'm gonna hit go live now. All right, so I just finished the stream. I'm gonna go into the live streaming tab and hit stop live stream. And that was it. It was super easy. So it went fine, it was super easy. Uh, there, it's not perfect yet. That's why they're testing it out before they send it out to everyone. And hopefully they'll add even more features. Uh, I did notice there is no way to read chat on your screen. I believe you used to be able to do that. Um, I actually, haven't streamed from my console in like five years, so I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure you could read chat from your console. So hopefully they bring that back. This is in very early access right now. They just wanna get it out, figure out what bugs there are and what features everyone wants. You do need to be an Xbox insider to access this and you need to be in the alpha ring or the alpha skip ahead ring. 
One question I know I'm going to get asked a lot, so I'm just going to make sure to answer it right now. Anytime you're streaming and you have to hit the guide button, uh, send a message, send an invite to a party or the game, or you go to your dashboard, the recording pauses. It will not show anything but the game you're streaming. So just know that. If you're not familiar with the Xbox Insider program, generally what they do is when they bring a new feature in, they bring it into the like the alpha and skip ahead tiers. And then later on, they'll bring it down to beta and down to the lower rings. So if you don't have access to it right now, don't worry, it will eventually come out to all of you. All right, if you're watching this, that means you have an Xbox and you want to stream on Twitch. Well, guess what? I'm an Xbox MVP. I've been an MVP since 2014 and I love helping people on Xbox. So you should stop on my stream. My, my stream is Moto, M-O-T-O. My gamer tag is also Moto. I would love to connect with you, play games. I do lots and lots of multiplayer days. And let me tell you, I can guarantee you lots of Forza Horizon 5 streams, lots and lots and lots of Halo Infinite coming. So make sure you stop by my Twitch, say hi. And if you have any questions about this, post them in the comments or anything Xbox related, and I will be sure to uh, try to answer all of the ones that I am capable of answering. Also, I'm on TikTok now, Moto Streams, all one word, Moto Streams on TikTok. I do daily TikToks, sometimes I do live streams. I also will do video responses. If you do the Q&A feature and ask me a question, I'll answer it, or most of them. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Flip, flip, flip.